Shalom. Thank you, Jesus. I welcome you once again. I welcome you once again. Lord Jesus, we give you all the praises. Wherever you are connecting me from, wherever you are connecting us from, you are warmly welcome. I hope you are all doing well by the grace of God. We give God all the praises. We thank him for making it possible for us to meet again. It is his grace that has been sufficient to sinners like us. Hallelujah. When you join, you share the broadcast and you invite them to come and pray. Hallelujah. God bless you all. You invite them to come and pray. Today, we are praying for children and we are praying for families. As I told you, from now to the 1st of August, every mother should fast and pray and secure the life of your child. Secure the life of your children. From today to the 1st of August, every mother fast and pray for your children. Destroy every plans of the enemy concerning children. Hallelujah. Children are blessings from God. If you are here and you are looking for the fruit of the womb, may you receive yours. Before we finish this three days program, if you are trusting God for the blessings of fertility, I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are trusting God for miracle twins, receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the strength and the grace to conceive unto your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever you are trusting God, to do for you in your life. Under this atmosphere, I will release it unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before we begin to pray, I want to release just 15 minutes talk and we begin to pray as we do always. Hallelujah. It's a grace and it's a blessing. Every mother wants to see or want the best for his or her children. Every parent, the dream, the heart desire of every parent is to get the best for the children. Hallelujah. Sometimes, what we do, sometimes, because we do not secure the fences of our children, our children grow to, be, to, to become vagabond, they grow, to, they grow and they become useless in the community. Every mother, it is your responsibility to secure your child. It is your responsibility to pray for your child. It is your responsibility to bless your child, to declare blessings, to declare favor, to declare good words unto the destiny of your child. Do not use your own mouth to curse your child. It will work. Where's our powers? Where's our powers? Whatever word you have been declaring all the time on the life of your child, that child will grow to go through that, that curses that you have released. If you have not shared, please share the broadcast for me. Every word, if it's a blessing, it is going to manifest. If it is a curse, it is going to manifest. So before we, we proceed to pray for children, I want you to learn how to bless your children on daily basis. It doesn't matter what they are doing today. Bless them. Covenant on them. Have covenant with God on your children. Every mother, at least every 31st, go and sow a seed on the life of your children ahead of the years. The year or concern the year ahead of you. Because the year that you are about to enter, you don't know the plans of God concerning your children. The year you're about to enter, you don't know the plan of God concerning your children. Hallelujah. This year, as I'm speaking to you, this year, somebody have buried the child. This year, somebody have lost his precious spell. This year, somebody have buried his son. This is not what we want. This is not the hard desire of every mother. 
the heart desire of every mother is to see is to see the children growing, the children flourishing, the children living in peace, living in joy, living in harmony. That is the dream of every mother. Sometimes also, many mothers, many people right now, as they are looking for the fruit of the womb, they are visiting so many places. Because you do not have eye to know that this altar, maybe this altar is not genuine, or the altar that you are entering, or the altar you are even going to sow the seed to covenant on your children, you don't have eye to see whether the foundation is laid on a body or the foundation is divinely, you can't see. You just go there and make a prayer concerning your children. A typical example is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. When I studied the life of Hannah, when Hannah wanted the fruit of the womb, Hannah went to the altar. He went and prayed. He went and prayed. He said, if you give me a male son, I will dedicate the son to you. And this thing that Hannah did, many mothers have been doing. During pregnancy, or even when we are trying to get the fruit of the womb and we don't get it, everywhere we go, Lord, if you give me a son, if you give me a daughter, I will make sure in my entire life I will rededicate this child to you. Let me tell you, indirectly, many mothers have been sacrificing their children to demons. Indirectly, many mothers have been dedicating, rededicating their children's life to demons so their child will grow and as she is growing, demon will be pursuing her, deity will be pursuing her, having sexual intercourse with her. Wherever she go, she will not understand that where the mother went and made a pledge, as Hannah went and made a pledge, when I studied the life of Samuel, the prophet, the judge, if someone chooses to be a musician, someone will never prosper. If someone chooses to be a doctor, because of the covenant the mother went, the mother made on his behalf. If someone decided not to serve God, like someone will never prosper. Many mothers, the reason why our children are suffering. Today, I just want to take your mind back. Before you gave birth to your child, what did you do? Before you gave birth to your child, did you went into any covenant with any deity, any, any sport, any any, 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 let me say it that way. Did you went into covenant? If you do not reverse that covenant today, whatever word you said during that time, before you took the seed of that baby, that child will grow and start going through that covenant. The child will start going through that covenant. So every covenant that our mothers, Wait on our behalf. That is what we are reaping now. That is what we are reaping now. Hannah went on a covenant when she was struggling, struggling to get the fruit of the womb. Lord, if you give me a male son, I will rededicate the child to you in a covenant. A covenant. Any of you, it wasn't a, a divine altar. Many mothers listening to me now, the altar where you went and prayed, where you went and made covenant. It may be it was not a divine altar. And now your daughter have grown. At 16, at 17, having five, six, seven, eight boyfriends, fiancés. Men have been sleeping with your daughter back and forth. It is not demon. No. Remember what the covenant you went in on behalf of your child. Remember the covenant you went in on behalf of your son or on behalf of your daughter. Hallelujah. Whatever covenant that is working against your seed in the name of Jesus Christ, may that covenant break now. Every evil covenant that will rise up to fight the destiny of your child, may that covenant be broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that evil covenant be broken now. Whatever vow, whatever transaction that have taken place 
on the destiny of your son. That will cause your son to die prematurely. That will cause your daughter to die prematurely at an early age. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that covenant be broken. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord God Almighty, every covenant that I have established, knowingly or unknowingly, on the life of my children, I stand on the altar of Gagal. I reverse that covenant today. I reverse that covenant today. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant, every covenant, every covenant, every covenant that you have established, or you went in knowingly or unknowingly, let that covenant be reversed today. Let it be reversed today. Let it be reversed today. Every deity, every spirit, every demon that you made the pledge that you dedicate your child to, that you give your son in, that you give your daughter to, in the name of Jesus Christ, let that seal be broken. Let that seal be broken. Open your mouth and pray. Break every seal. Every seal. Every seal. The seal of that covenant. The seal of that covenant. The seal of that covenant. Hannah, the seal of the covenant was that he was not going to shave the hair of Samuel. Samuel was not going to take anything with wine. Anything that do with wine, Samuel will never take. That was the covenant, the seal. I don't know the seal of the covenant on your children. I don't know the seal of the covenant. Because sometimes we do things out of ignorance. We say words without knowing the outcome or the implication of that words that we are speaking. We make meditation on our children, on, on so, so many things that we do not even know the meaning of it. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I reverse every covenant. I reverse every case. I reverse every words that I have spoken on the destiny of my children. That will hinder them. That will destroy them. That will make them useless. That will fight their future. I reverse it. 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 Forgive me and break the seal of that covenant, my God. Forgive me, O Lord, and break the seal of that covenant. Forgive me, O Lord, and break the seal of that covenant. Forgive me, O Lord, and break the seal of that covenant. Every covenant, every covenant, every covenant, every covenant on my children, on my children, that will make my children waste. That will waste their destiny. That will make them die prematurely. That will make them die prematurely. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the seal of that covenant be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the seal of that covenant right now in the name of Jesus Christ be broken now. 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 Lento robo masun dayama zo brokoto liantar mama kapan zo rimakata yama liantar mama kabiande let the seal of every covenant the seal of every covenant be broken now 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 the seal of every covenant 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 that will waste the destiny of my children lake caribbean day makapaya dosa lentorobo masun diamond zo prokoto liantarma makapan zuri makata yama liantarma makabian de let it be broken 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 right now let it be broken right now let it be broken let the seal of every covenant 
covenant, every covenant, every covenant, every covenant that I have entered on behalf of my children, knowingly or unknowingly, let that seal of that covenant right now be destroyed, right now be destroyed, right now be destroyed, right now be destroyed, right now be destroyed. Let Kabiante Makapayadosa Lentoropo Masun Diamond. So broke a yantanma makapan. Zuri makatayama yantanma makabiyande. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Open your mouth and pray for your children. Open your mouth and pray for your children. Open your mouth and pray for your children. Le kabiyande makapayadosa. Le ntoropo masun diamond. So broke a tall yantanma makapan. Zuri makatayama yantan. Be broken now, 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 be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Many of us, we are we have grown our children, they are in their twenties. Many of them, many of us, our children are in the thirties. They don't see their back and front. Many of them have managed to finish university. Yes, still, even job, it is difficult for them to get. Many people, they have finished university. They have managed, you have managed to care for your children. You have struggled. That now they are in the, in 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 the, in the in the in the in the state that they could if they can get a good job now, all your burden and all what you are going through will come to an end. The children have managed to complete school but no job. Wherever they go, they can't get a job. Wherever they go, doors have been shut. Doors have been closed for them. Things are difficult for your seed. Many of you, your children, when they even study, they cannot remember. They study all right, but they can't remember. Many of them, they have been complaining to you, mommy, when I sleep, a man is sleeping with me in her early teenage, 11 years, 12 years. She has started going through this. 13 years, 14 years. She is having spiritual marriage. It is serious. So as I'm telling you, I know many mothers come to me. I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. I know what I am saying. Yes. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Yes. Yes, I know what I'm saying. At their early age, deities have started sleeping with them. Men have started sleeping with them. And many, many of many of the mothers, even their sons have started masturbating in their tenth, early as ten years, the child is masturbating. Early as ten years, the sport of lust. Have taken over the life of the child only as 10 years. 10. As I'm speaking to you, many mothers, your children are in their early 13s. They are smoking. They have started smoking marijuana. They have started smoking. We are praying for them. We are praying for children once again. Lord, whatever the devil have implanted in the life of my children. Let me tell you, many of the attitude, many of the behaviors that we grow with, we get it in our childhood. In an early age, you see a, a, a young girl so disrespectful, so arrogant, so rude. Many of our children, they don't like people. They don't even want anybody to come closer to them. This is a seed the devil has implanted in them. This is a seed the devil has implanted in them. And they will grow with that seed if you do not rise up to uproot that seed. When I studied about the life of Eli, 
the priest that, that Hannah went and climbed on his altar to get Samuel and later rededicated Samuel to serve in the altar of Eli. Eli's children didn't end well. Eli's children, he was a priest, but his children were vagabond. Samuel, at the end, he died because of his children. His children didn't follow the pattern of God. His children were so vagabond. The devil implanted a seed, a seed in the life of Eli. He was a priest. In the life of uh, Samuel's children, he was a judge, a priest, an anointed man of Israel. But the devil implanted a seed, a seed, a radical seed that made them stood as, as rebellious in the sight of God. So God have to deliver them into the hand of the enemy. God have to deliver them. His chosen one. In the Bible, we know God chose Abraham. He had covenant with Abraham. The covenant extended unto Isaac. It extended unto the life of Jacob. It extended unto the Israels, that is Jacob's children. They, God remembered them all. Today we are praying for our children once again. Lord, let every demonic seed that the devil has implanted in my children, let that seed be uprooted. Open your mouth and pray. Let every demonic seed mm, that the enemy has implanted in my children, let that seed be uprooted. Let that seed be uprooted. Let that seed be uprooted. Let that, seed be uprooted. Let that evil seed that has been implanted, Father, let it be uprooted. 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 Every seed in the life of my children that they will grow with it to become radical, to become vagabond. Let that seed, oh Lord, be uprooted now. 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 Every satanic seed, evil seed, demonic seed, I set fire. I set fire. I set fire. Fire, I set fire on that seed in the life of my children. Whatever they have eaten in school, whatever that they have eaten, oh my god, that whatever they have introduced into them through eating food in schools, through eating food in schools. Through eating food in schools, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set fire on that seed. 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 Every demonic seed in the life of my children, every evil seed implanted in my children, I set fire on it. I consume that seed. I approve that seed. The seed of last. The seed of last. The seed of last. The seed of last. The seed of a Addiction, the seed of lust, the seed of addiction, the seed of adultery, the seed of fornication that the devil has implanted in their every age, in their every age, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that seed be uprooted from the life of my children. Let that seed be uprooted from the life of my children. Let that seed be uprooted now. Be uprooted now. Be uprooted now from the life of your son. From the life of your daughter from the life of your son from the life of your daughter from the life of your son from the life of your daughter let ka be a de ma ka pa ya do sa le ntoro po ma sun da ya ma so proko to li antar ma ma ka pa so ri ma ka ta ya ma li antar ma ma ka be a de let every evil seed oh my god that is in the life of my children now that is planted to destroy to waste to tarnish to limit to block their destiny to block their blessing my god let that seed be consumed by fire now let that seed in my children in my children in my children be destroyed by fire now 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we are praying for their glory 
many of our children, the midwives, the nurses that assisted us in the delivery room, many of them are agents from the camp of the enemy. Many of them are on assignment. When they see the destiny of your child, they cover the glory. When they see the future of your child, they cover the glory. We are praying any prayer, anybody have laid evil hand on the glory of my children. Anywhere, anybody, being my father, being my mother, being an auntie, being a cousin, that, that want to take the glory or exchange the glory of my children. Lord, I restore the glory of my children. I secure the glory of my children. I secure the glory of my children. I secure the glory of my children. Whatever that has been taken away from the life of my children, I declare, let it be restored back to them. I declare, let it be restored back to them. Whatever the devil has stolen from the destiny of my children, what Whatever the evil ones have stolen from the life of my children, let it be restored. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. They are growing. They are fame. They are fame. They are fame. They are fame. They are favor. They are favor. Let it be restored. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. Wherever they've taken the glory of my children to, my God, my God, I command the release whatever whatever they've taken the fame of my children i command the release i command the release i command the release let the glory of my daughters let the glory of my children be restored 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 let god be Lento lo po masun dayama so broko to liantan ma makapa zuri makata yama liantan ma makapa let the glory of my children, let the favor, let the favor, let the blessings, let the blessings of my children be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored, be restored. Let anybody that have exchanged the garment of my children, the garment of my children, the shirt of my child, the t shirt, the skirt, the veil of my son of my daughter let it be released back to her by divine authority i declare declare i declare declare i declare declare i declare declare let it be released back to my children 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 back to my children, to my children. in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah a true story True story. A mother one Sunday was washing the clothing of her eight-year-old daughter. As she put the hand into the pocket, she found the finger of a human being in the pocket of her daughter. And she, she screamed to call the daughter. Where did you get this? What is, you know, she didn't say, so what is in your pocket? The child was even, she even forgets. And you say, oh, my friend gave me a gum when I was in school. But I forget to chew, mommy, where is it? Her friend gave him ordinary gum that we've been chewing. Gum that we have been chewing. Gum like this. Not knowing that child has been sent in the life of this woman's daughter to initiate her into witchcraft so if not the grace and the protection of god upon the life of this child and this child ate that gum it wasn't a gum it was a finger of a human being yes many of us we don't know what our children have been eating in school Many of us who don't know the spirit in the children around our children. We don't know the connections, the altars, our toddlers or our, 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 our teenagers or our children are connected to. They share hand to eat with them. 
Many of them, they pray together. Many of them, they do so many things together in school. They do so many things together. Especially when they get to the teenage and they are in hostel or they are in boarding house. That is, so, that is the most dangerous part. That is the most dangerous part. That is why many mothers, their children return from senior high school as drug addicts. When they were in school, when they were in home before they entered into senior high school, they didn't know how to even take alcohol. Not even talking of uh, learning how to smoke marijuana, but they have been learning it in school. As I'm speaking to you, many teenagers, many mothers here, your sons are practicing courtism in school. Your sons are practicing courtism. You do not know. You don't know. They are bowing down to adults that you yourself, you will never bow to. They are sacrificing their souls to deities that you will never do. They have been influenced. They have been influenced by their friends. Keep sharing. No, our page has been restricted. I don't know. It has been restricted. So when you come, you do well to share for us. Share for those on your timeline. When you share on your timeline, somebody will just join and you uh, just join to pray for his or her daughter or his, his son. Yes. You don't know. Many of us, when we were in senior high school, I, for instance, when I was in senior high school, a poor, a poor somebody from a poor background that I do not think about myself. When the rich men's daughters are going, I go with them. Mm. When they are running away from school, I go with them. Every problem that will come in the school, they will mention my name. Because I wasn't exempted from every radical behavior that was happening in the school. I was there. I was there. My mother was in the house. They didn't know anything about what I was doing around. What I was doing around, clubbing in school, moving around, running away to my fiancé. My mother never knew anything about it. He, she was in the house, thinking my daughter is in, in, in a boarding house, learning. I wasn't learning. I wasn't learning. I wasn't learning. We are praying once again for the children. We are disconnecting them from bad influence, bad company, bad association. Father, disconnect my son, wherever he is. Disconnect my daughters, wherever they are. Disconnect them from bad association, bad company, bad company, bad influence. People that will influence him in a negative way. Friends that will influence them in a negative way. Lord, disconnect my children. Disconnect my children. Wherever they go, let your broad speak for them. Wherever they go, let your broad speak for them. Wherever my children are, let your broad redeem them. Let your broad cover them. Soak the soul of your children wherever they are. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. Cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Soak their soul. Pray the blood over them. Pray the blood over them. Pray the blood over them. Say, I pray the blood over the life of my children. Wherever they are. Wherever they they are. Let the blood of Jesus speak for my children. Let the redeeming blood, let the cleansing blood speak for my children. Speak for my children. Speak for my children. Redeem them. Redeem them. Redeem them from wrong association. Redeem them from wrong association. Redeem them from wrong company. Wrong company. Wrong company. Wrong company. Any influence. Redeem them. Bad influence, bad peers, redeem my children, secure their future for me, Lord, secure their life for me, Lord, deliver them from every imminent danger, deliver them from every difficulties, deliver them from every prince of the devil against my seed, every prince of the devil, the serpent against my seed, against my seed, against my seed, against my seed. deliver them, oh Lord. I declare liberation. I declare liberation. Liberate their souls. 
Liberate the souls of my daughter, the souls of my sons. Lose them, O oh Lord. Set them free for me. Set them free for me. Set them free for me. Deliver them from the, the hand or the power of any addiction. Addicted to smoking. Addiction. Addicted to watching porn. Liberate the soul of my son. Liberate the soul of our teenagers. Deliver the soul of our teenagers. Deliver the soul of our children. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the soul of my children be liberated, be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed by the blood of Jesus. Let the soul of my son, let the soul of my daughters be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Let their soul be ransomed wherever they are, 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 be ransomed, be ransomed, be ransomed by the blood. Hey, le kabiande makapayados. Lentorpo masun tayama so prokotol yantar mama kapan zuri makata yama yantar mama kabiade let your souls be ransomed by the blood by the blood by the blood the redeeming blood the cleansing blood the cleansing blood the cleansing blood the cleansing blood lose and liberate my my seed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are praying again. We are praying again. We are praying again. Many of us, we are from a background that the altars there started limiting our father. They started limiting our grandfather. That limitation has been on our grandfather. Our father was born into that limitation. We are also born into that limitation. And our children, this limitation will be transferred onto our children. One prayer point that I pray always is, Lord, whatever I am going through, let not any of my children go through. Any difficulties that I am going through, let it end it on me. Let that difficulty not be transferred to the life of my children. What is stopping me today, Lord? Let it not stop my children. What is blocking me today? Let that power not have access to block my children. I want you to make this declaration for me. Father, let any power stopping me today not have access on my children. Let every power stopping me today, limiting me today, my goal not prevail over my children. Let the evil altar in my father's house not prevail over my, my children. Let the evil altar in my mother's house not prevail, not get power, not get power to tread upon, to afraid, to manipulate, to hinder, to fight my children. I disconnect my children, my seed, from every generational curses. Every generational curses in my father's house, I disconnect my seed. Every generational curses in my mother's house, I disconnect my seed. Every paternal, maternal curses that makes people useless, that makes people useless, that wastes people's destiny, that wastes people's life, I disconnect myself and I disconnect my soul. I disconnect my children. I disconnect their soul. I disconnect myself and I disconnect my children. What is stopping me today? I decree and declare it's not going to stop my children. What is blocking me today? I decree and declare it's not going to block my children. What is fighting you today? I decree and declare it's not going to fight your children. What is limiting you today? I decree and declare it's not going to limit your children. It's not going to limit your children. It's not going to fight your children. The sickness that you are battling today, ah, your children are not going to battle that cancer. The cancer you are battling today, I decree and declare, it is written, Ezekiel chapter 18, verses 
number three. Say, we shall no longer say this proverb in the land of Israel that fathers have eaten sour grapes and children's teeth are set on the edge. The Bible says, a soul that sin shall die. We decree and declare a prophetic mandate on the life of our children that what is fighting us will not have power to fight our children. That what is limiting us in business, limiting us in ministry, limiting you in business, limiting you in politics, your children will break free, 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 will break free. What is fighting you today? Hey, will never fight your children. What is stopping you today can never stop your children. We release a prophetic mandate on them. A prophetic mandate on them. Man, dili bili bili le kapi ande. Man kapa ya dosa. Len tolo po man sunda ya man. So broko to li andar man man kapa. Zuri man kata ya man li andar man. Man kapi ande man kapa ya dosa. Len tolo po man sunda ya man. So broko to li andar man man kapa. A prophetic mandate. My God, we release. On the life of the children. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 We decree and declare. Our children will fulfill destiny. They will fulfill destiny. They are going to be a blessing. They will never be a burden. Our children will never be a burden. They will hear us on this day. We come in one accord. We come in one accord. We declare our children is going to be a blessing unto us. Not a burden. 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 Unto families. Not a burden. Unto families, not a burden. Unto our life, not a burden. Unto the life of our, of, of, of our family life. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will never be a curse. There will be a blessing. Our seed can never be a curse. Our seed will be a blessing. Today we declare prophetically. On the life of our children, we declare prophetically on the life of our children that no imminent danger will come across our children. No impending danger, no impending danger, no kidnapping, no arresting, no molesting, cops molesting, police molesting, police arresting will come closer to our children. We declare by divine authority given to us to be called a son of God, the apostolic mandate, the apostolic mandate, we decree and declare, we come in one accord, we make a declaration, we make a declaration that wherever our children go, they will find favor. Devil, whether you like it or not, they will find favor. They will find favor. They are going to be the head, not the tail. Our seed will be the head, not the tail. Our seed will be the head, not the tail. Our children will prosper. There will be a trophy of grace, a trophy of grace, a trophy of grace, a trophy of grace. They will be like Joseph. Their blessing and their fame will spread abroad. Nothing can cover them. Nothing can silence them. Nothing can stop them. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. Let God be. We speak by authority that they will step on the lion, they will tread on the lion, they will tread on the scorpions, they will tread on the deers, they will tread on the wild beasts that will come across them, that will come on their way. None of them, my God, none of them, my God, can stand to fight our children. We decree and declare the people that will appear to them in the form of lions, in the form of Goliath. In the form of Goliath, we declare our children will overcome them. 
They will overcome them. They are more than a conqueror. 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 They will hear us. Whatever our children are going through today, it doesn't matter. It doesn't determine their future. We decree and declare they will end well. They will end well. Your seed will never be wasted. Your seed will never be wasted. Your children will never be wasted. None of your children will be an arm robber. There will never be a robber. There will never be a prostitute, a harrod, a womanizer, a womanizer, an extortioner. There will never be my God. Yes. Oh. 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 Jesus. We declare by divine authority upon the life of our children to the fourth generation to the fourth generation lord let this declaration work for them whatever the devil have in mind for them doesn't matter lord we do not even want to hear we do not even want to focus on what the devil is planning but we are focusing on your plans and purposes concerning their life we are planning on your purposes concerning them we are planning on what your thought your thought concerning children your mind concerning children your thought concerning children father lift every curses from their life Turn their curses to blessings. Turn their curses to blessings. We decree and declare our children will not be like the children of Eli, the children of Samuel. No. They will love God. They will serve God. They will, they will worship God with all their heart. With all their heart, with all their heart, wherever they are, Father, we connect their soul, we connect them to the altar in your kingdom, we connect, we tie the soul of our children to their altar, to that altar, to that altar, when they are going wayward, Father, let the altar bring them back, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, the month of August, we are destroying and scattering everything that the devil has programmed for the, the life of children in the month of August. I want you to pray and say, Lord, whatever plan the enemy have for children in the month of August, let it be aborted. Whatever plan the devil have for children in the month of August, we decree and declare, let that plan be aborted, 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 be aborted. Every snail, every trap, every pestilence, every pestilence, every plague that is that has been cooked for children in the month of August, we intercept it. We destroy, we destroy, we destroy, we destroy, we destroy, we decree and declare, we decree and declare, it will never manifest, it will never manifest, it will never manifest, we decree and declare, it will never manifest, we decree and declare, it will never manifest, it will never manifest, every plan of the devil concerning children in the month of August, we terminate it, we terminate it, we terminate it. 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 We cancel. We set it on fire. We set it on fire. We set it on fire. Every prince of the devil against our soul, against our children, against our home, against our business, against our ministry. In the month of August, we intercept. We intercept. We intercept. We intercept. We intercept. We cancel. We terminate. We terminate. We terminate, we terminate, we terminate, we terminate, we terminate. Let all their evil plans to hinder us, to stop us, to block us, to intimidate us, to assassinate us, my God, to beseech us, to sabotage us. Let it be intercepted, let it be aborted, let it be aborted, let it be aborted, let it be aborted, let it be aborted in the month of August. We declare divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, speeding in all realms of our life.
We break the yoke of limitation. We break the yoke of stagnation. We break the yoke of stagnation. We break the yoke of limitation. Anywhere they are limiting you, anywhere you are stuck in life, receive the power to move forward. Say, I move forward by power and authority. Say, I am moving forward by power and authority. I am moving forward in ministry. I am moving forward in politics. I am moving forward in business i am moving forward i am moving forward i decree and declare the yoke of stagnation is broken i decree and declare the yoke of backwardness what is making me all the time dream of visiting my native land all the time dream of seeing myself in my old school all the time dream of seeing myself in my old village in the name of Jesus Christ let that backwardness let that yoke cut fire now 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 the yoke of limitation in the month of August in the month of August the yoke of backwardness in the month of August, the yoke of backwardness in the month of August, all realms of our life, we decree and declare, it is broken, 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 no more stagnation, whatever is making us tag life, that power is broken, that power is broken, that power is broken, whatever is pushing us back, Backward in everything we do. Whatever is restricting us, whatever is broken us, let it be consumed by fire, by fire, by fire. The yoke of backwardness, the yoke of stagnation, the yoke of stagnation, backfire, 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 catch fire now. The yoke of stagnation, rejection in the month of August, my God. Yes, in the month of August, in the month of August, all limitations are lifted. All limitations are broken. In your business, whatever is making you delay, today it is lifted. In ministry, whatever is limiting you, while people are moving, people are speeding, people are speeding, what is limiting you? It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. In marriage, what is causing confusion, setting confusion, producing confusion, cooking confusion, cooking misunderstanding between you and your husband, between you and your wife. Today I came to set fire. I came to release 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 fire. And I decree and declare that yoke is broken. 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 Like a all oh, the Sami say, Yeah, though I walk in the shadows of death, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou out with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. All couples that are weeping, all couples that are crying, I release and I declare comfort in marriages. Every tears in marriage, every tears, every tears, misunderstanding, 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 every conflict, every conflict, every conflict, I declare it broken, 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 in the month of August, declare the month of August, my month of divine visitation, I want you to put your hand on your chest and say the month of August, I declare it's my month of divine visitation, it's my month of restoration, it's my month of divine Divine recovery, the month of August is my month of divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, 
divine breakthrough, divine breakthrough, my month of divine breakthrough, my month of divine breakthrough, my month of divine restoration of every broken vessel, every broken glory, every broken favor, every broken vessel, every broken glory, every broken favor, let it be restored. My month of divine restoration, divine restoration, divine restoration, everything that the enemy has laid hands on it, everything that has been taken away from my life, everything that has been stolen from my life, everything that has been covered from my life, I declare restoration, I declare restoration, I declare restoration, I declare restoration, I declare restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, from the day of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence taken by force. Tonight, we are here to declare something by force. We are here to take it by force. We are here to take it by force. Whatever you, you are wishing to receive in the month of August, we are making that declaration ahead of that month. Because what the, the evil ones want to do in the month of August, they've already declared it before we are entering August. Whatever they want to distribute or to supply in the month of August, they have finished cooking it as I'm speaking to you. We are taking it by force. If it's the fruit of the womb, say I take it by force. If it is money, say I take it by force. I take treasures of darkness. I take it by force. I take it by force. Treasures of darkness. I take it by force. The fruit of the womb. I take it by force. My promotion. I take it by force. My document. I take it by force. I take it by force. Miracle babies. I take it by force. Miracle job. I take it by force. Miracle testimony. Testimony. Miracles. I take it by force. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. In my business. Manifest by force. In my ministry. Manifest by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. Every blessing stolen from me. Every blessing taken from me. Every money stolen from me. From January to to, to August, I take it by force. I take it by force. I take it by force. Every glory, every favor, every fame, every fame, every opportunity, my God, that is stolen from my life. I receive it back. I take it by force. 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 By power and authority. By power and authority. By power and authority. I take it by force. I take it by force. I I take it by force, my God. <laughs> Keep declaring. <laughs> Keep taking it by force. Whatever you want to receive in the month of August, declare, I take it by force. I take it by force. <laughs> I take it by force. Miracle babies, miracle twins, miracle job, miracle money, miracle money, miracle money, destiny helpers, destiny helpers in the month of August. Locate me, locate me, locate me, Betty Bellis. I call you, I call your ministry, Betty Bellis, destiny helpers with access. I connect you, I connect to you wherever you are, wherever you are. I call you, I call your ministry, I call your ministry. Destiny helpers, destiny helpers, destiny helpers in my life, in my life, wherever you are, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate my ministry, locate my business, locate my children, locate me, locate my project, locate my project, locate my project, locate me. My God, my God, my God, destiny helpers. In the month of August, in the month of August, in the month of August, locate my life, locate my life, locate my ministry, locate my business, locate me, destiny helper, destiny helper, destiny helper, I call you, help us to my next level, help us to my next level, help us to my next level, help us in my life, help us in ministry, help us in politics, help us in politics, help us in business, business connected, business 
business connectors, business connectors, locate me now, 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 business connectors, business connectors, destiny helpers, burden bearers, people to help me bear my burden, bear my burden, bear my burden, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I study the life of Job, one lesson that I learned in life is that when you are down, when you are building on a scratch, nobody wants to build with you. Nobody will come to your aid. When Job was down, I never knew he had relatives. He had kinsmen that had gold to offer him. And when I read from Job chapter 1, all the life, all the afflictions that Job went through, all the rejections, nobody came to his aid. Mm -hmm. Those that visited him, they rather came and worsened his burden. Those that came in his life, they rather came to make his burden more and more and more and more. They came to add up. They came to add up. None of them thought of even assisting Job to come out of the problem that he is going through. None of them had in heart to come to the life of Job. And I have really, 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 really learned that. And it is working in our day as I'm speaking to you. Now that many of us, we need the help of people, nobody will locate you. Nobody wants to be a helper to help you carry the burden so that you will reach your destination faster. But try and just build yourself and reach there. There you know that you have friends. There you know that you have relatives. There you know that you have people to come and celebrate with you. But now that we are building on scratches, when you even call the person, he thinks you are calling him or her because you are poor to come and burden him. To come and disturb him. But when God blesses Job, when God restored Job, they that they came with their gold. Many of us, now that we are repeating clothing, it will never touch the heart of anybody to give us, to even buy clothing for us. The wait, the wait, the time that we don't need it, that's the time they will bring. The wait. When you, when you are already content that you don't need the help of anybody, that they'll be pursuing you with their gifts, seeking fame or seeking access to come closer, to draw closer to you. Christians, this is bad behavior. That every Christian, you shouldn't do that. If you have any help to help anybody, help the person the time he or she is building on the scratch. The time that what to eat is difficult. The time what to wear is difficult. I have once experienced. When I was left with two clothing, none of my friends, none, I mean none, none, sacrificed to even come closer to be my friend. I didn't get anybody like that. Like, none. I, I repeated down two clothing. I wash one. I, 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 when one dry, I change and I wash. Nobody. It, that, it didn't touch the heart of anybody that this woman has been robbed. They've robbed her of everything. She's left with this. Let me give her this. No. Nobody even wanted to even pick my call. But now, these people want to be your best friend. I tell you. These people want to associate with you. And when you decide not to be with them, they say, ah, you don't like people. Those days when I needed you, where were you? Where were you? If you were not there in my pain, do not bother yourself to come in my celebration. Don't come. And many of you, this is the mistake you are making, no? This is the mistake. The time that the person that will be a better bearer for you tomorrow, this is the time that person needs your help. You, you, you are going backward. You are busy enjoying your money alone. When your money finish and God has lifted that person, you'll be expecting to go there to enjoy with him. He will turn his back at you because you didn't sow. You did not sow. 
you did not sow. Job, upon all his struggling, finding it difficult to eat, the burden did not come with gold. Job chapter number 42. Let me read for you. Job chapter 42 verse 10. That is the last verse of the book of Job. Job 42 <coughs> verses number 10. <coughs> it says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity as Job prayed for the friends that were making mockery of him. The friend that, that added up to the, to, the, to the pain that Job went through. You know, at the end, let's learn something from you. When Job was in this crisis, see how the friends were chastising and rebuking him, calling him oh, a ritualist. You, you are this, you are that, you are this, you are that. All what they did, God was recording. All what they were doing to add pain in the life of Job. Job was crying that time. Job didn't know God, a time will come. God will let these people come and apologize to him for him to bless them before the, uh, the manifestation of their blessing. Their friends, after he prayed for them, God blessed Job. Whatever he lost, God restored him. God restored it in twice. Twice as before. Let's listen to the verse number 11. <laughs> it said, Then came there unto him all his brethren, and all his sisters, and all that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord has brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money. Every man, every, every one, an earring of gold. Earring of gold. When Job needed this earring of gold to even visit the hospital to treat himself, nobody gave. Nobody gave. This is biblical. This is biblical. And many of us, we, 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 we are experiencing what the Bible is spoken of. We are experiencing, in our days, we are experiencing. People will never come to your aid when you are in need. So my last and my final word to you, it doesn't matter where you started building. Maybe you are building on a scratch. Keep building. Keep cramping the ladder. Do not expect people to come to you while you are at the bottom. Nobody is ready to celebrate with your, your failure. Mm -mm. People do not celebrate people's failure. Mm -mm. They will only criticize your failure. They will only jubilate over your failure. They will be happy because you have not been able to make it. But when you make it in life, when you manage to reach the top, they will come there. There you see them, they want you to be. They are friends because they want the fame. They want your fame. Mm -mm. They want to share your fame. They want you to, to do so many things with them. But now that you have one clothing, are they coming to even take picture with you? Mm -mm. <laughs> you keep repeating clothing. Who is coming to take picture with you? Start wearing like Jay-Z. Start wearing like 50 Cent. Start wearing like Rihanna. Start wearing like those celebrities, those people that, have, that are already on the top. Everybody wants to take part. Everybody wants to even get access to offer you a gift. Change that attitude. Change that behavior. If you have any help to help a sister, to help a brother, help that brother now. Many of you, your neighbor's children, that your neighbor have been, oh, please, can you help me? We tend to pay my, my daughter's school fees. Can you help me with 20 to pay my son's school fees? Please, I will give to you at the end of the month. I am going to the market to sell. I will get it for you. Don't let my daughter be... be uh, do, do not let them bring him her out of school. Drive her out of school. Please, give me. Is that I don't have? Tomorrow, that the daughter will be a doctor. You will be there. You need the help. Tomorrow... The son that you are turning your back to, that son is going to be an engineer. You see him, you bury your head in shame. Yesterday, when I was there, 
I was saying something to myself. The harm that my own uncle's wife did to me. I live with them. I wash for them. I serve them like a maid. Because I was born in a background that I was born in a village and I, I desired to live in the city. And those days, it was my uncle that God have blessed. God have blessed him. And the wife with just two children. So I just wanted to be a maid. If it's just a maid, though, a maid, not a family member, just a maid. I wake up four o'clock. I wash their clothing with my hands, not washing machine. From five o'clock, I wash, I will finish around 9.30 in the morning. By the time I finish, nothing to eat. The wife will not give me food to eat. She more treated me like a stranger. Now, hmm, they wish I would call her again as I used to call mommy, mommy, mommy. Every day testing me. Oh, how are you? I am not fine. I'm not fine. I am not. Oh, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. The time I needed you most. You were supposed to be there for me. You didn't. Any of you that treat your, <laughs> your, your maid, anybody in your home, you do not know the future of that person. You don't know what God has restored in the, in, the, in the life of that person for you tomorrow. Treat them well. Treat people well as I bring my message to an end. Treat people well because you don't know who will help you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. As I'm speaking to you, my, my, that my uncle and the wife, they are no more. They've separated. They are separated. And because you didn't treat me well, me, I know you because of my, my uncle. You are not my relative. So if the marriage have collapsed, do you want me to come to your side? I can't come to your side. I will go to my uncle's side. I cannot come to your side because you are gone. You are no more. You are no more. Treat people with love. Treat people with care. Share the little you have today with people so that tomorrow when you are down, they will come to your aid. Many of my uncles those days, I always say this, and even I have said to one of, him, one of them, their presence, when I needed money to go to senior high school, one of my uncles stood in my presence, in the presence of my mom said for girl child education, I will never sponsor. I will never sponsor girl child education. Yes. And he refused to give my mom. He didn't give my mom. So we went in tears. We went in tears. Now, hey, this is my sister's daughter. This is my sister's daughter. No, you don't know me. I have tried to build my own empire. Nobody is ready to help. Nobody is ready to help. This is the era that we are in. Nobody, everybody, even the little you have, people have stretched for their hand to take from you. When you give to them, they will take it and add it to what they have. Today, you need the help of people. Nobody is ready to come to your aid. Yes? Nobody. That is life. That is life. So maybe you are going through. It is not only you. It is normal. Go through it. Build yourself. Build on your own. Build on your own. Try to build. Build. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Because if you don't push it and you still remain in that position, my dear, nobody will come to your aid there. Don't think that your uncle in the U.S. will come for you while you are still building on that scratch. That your uncle will meet you at the top. So you have to meet them. Struggle to meet him at the top. If you don't get to the top, you can't meet them. Because they are already on the top and they are not coming down for you. So you have to chase them there. Build yourself. Find a job. Find something to do with your hands. Work hard. Do not depend on anybody when you start building. Let me tell you, when gifts come, it is hallelujah. When somebody remembers you, it is praise the Lord. But do not put your trust that somebody is coming to help you, so I'm not going to work. My dear, by the time you open your eye, you've entered your 50. If in single room, you do not have. By the time you open your eye, you've entered your 60, still renting, still renting, 
still renting. Open your eye. When you eat, when you get 10 and you eat, please do not eat all the 10. Thinking you have a relative that will come to your aid in the time of difficulty. Nobody will come to your aid. When you get 50 and you are eating, divide it. Invest some so that in your difficult time you lay hands on it. Because in your difficult time, not all people get help when they are looking for help. Not all people receive help when they are at the bottom. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. It is so difficult. It is so difficult. So build yourself. Keep building. Keep building. The Lord is your strength. Keep building. Many of you, you are building as a single mother. Please do not be discouraged. Be there for your children. Be there for your seed. Be there for your children. I know it is difficult, but you smile tomorrow. It is difficult. Now, where to sleep is difficult. What to wear is difficult. I promise you, God will never forsake you. God will never forsake you. God will never, never forsake you. Keep praying for your children. Be there for them. Now, people are wearing. You don't get money to well. Do not let it pain you for the sake of your children. You are sacrificing for something. You are sacrificing for something. You are sacrificing for your children. Maybe your friends, they are changing clothing, they are changing shoes, they are changing bags. You don't get money to change. Do not let this discourage you. Oh. Do not let this discourage you. Your investment is your children. Your investment is your children. Your second hope in life is your children. Because your first hope is God. And the second hope is your children. If you, if I, in, in the evening of your day or in your old age, if your children do not come to your aid, who will come? Who will come to your aid? If your own children refuse to care for you, who? If not God will connect you to a stranger with a kind heart, and even it is not all people that meet, that have favor to receive from stranger. It's a divine favor God restore in some specific people. Some specific people, they receive that divine favor to receive from strangers. Those that the prophecy of Isaiah chapter number 61 manifest for them. Strangers will build your wall. They will carry goods from afar. They will carry your children from afar. Not everybody, oh. No, not everybody. Not everybody. So build yourself. Build yourself. Keep working hard. Though sometimes we share tears, it is normal. All of us, we have been crying. All of us who have not cried. The rich man, sometimes they cry. The poor man, they cry. Everybody in, in your time, Sometimes you smile. Sometimes you cry. There is time for everything. Whatever comes your way, trust God you come out. Whatever problems that comes your way, trust God you will come out. That problem will not remain forever. That difficulty will not remain forever. We never dreamed that a time will come you even have three or four different clothing. We didn't have that dream. We did not even have hope that a time will come that we will get money in, in our account. We did not have that hope. We did not even have hope. But see how far the Lord has, has brought us and is taking us. Have hope in God. Have hope in God. Whatever you are going through, it will come to an end. If your children are radicals, stand for them. We were more radicals than your children. We, many of us here, those days, if they gave us to you as a gift, you reject it. I tell you. If my mom was to give me those days, give me to you as a gift, you reject me. Because every second I am bringing a new problem. Every second I am bringing a new problem. When my mom finished solving this one, another one is on the way coming. And when she come and confront me also, I will stand in the public. Ah, I will give it to her and people will clap for me. You see how radical we were? Do you know the reason why? The devil wanted to destroy us because he knows what we carry. 
Your son is radical. Your son is being afflicted by the devil because of what he carries. The devil has seen the future of your son. The devil has seen the future of your daughter. The devil know that in the year at age 35, at age 40, your son is going to be be troubling his kingdom. That is why they are afflicting him. They want him to. They want to kill him before the appointed time. As Herod pursued Jesus Christ, wanted to kill him before the, the right time to hinder whatever he was coming to do on this earth. The same thing applies to your children. Among my mother's children, I was the most radical. Among my mother's children, I knew how to sleep with men in a very tender age. None of my sisters, they were all virgin, only me. So they would grab me, they would beat me, I would run away. You know, I, I went through a lot, a lot, a lot at an early age. Everybody was mentioning my name. Everybody was calling my name. Everybody was cursing me. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, everybody, everybody. Because today I will beat this one. Tomorrow I will go with young boys to somebody's farm. Your big sugar cane that you want to take to church. That is the one I will come and cut it. I tell you, what we have done. There was a man who, who left a big sugar cane. Not those days, the church of Methodists, they used to take their first fruit. In, in a full stop, they take it to church. And this man wanted to take his first fruit. I went there and cut that first fruit and sit in his farm, chew that sugar cane. This man came to my house with a machete and I ran away. And I ran away. See what? People's, oh, I, you know, when my mom put money, I would take and run away. Everything, you know, from, uh, from, from, from chasing men to robbing to arrogant disobedient, pride, insulting elders, all this. I don't know which of the fruit that I did not bear for the devil. I bear all fruit for the devil. Why? Because the devil saw that in the year 30s, in my 30s, I am going to be a threat to his kingdom. So they really, really affected me. So whatever your daughter or your son is going through, please stand for him. Stand for him. And I will repeat, stand for your daughter. Stand for your son. Don't listen to whatever anybody say. Stop selling your children to strangers. Many of you, you are selling them everywhere you meet them. Hey, this is my daughter. Huh? Ah, she's very, very bad. This is my son. I don't know. He's very, very bad. If you have any, any words to speak, communicate with God concerning your children. Communicate with God concerning your daughter because that your friend will only take the news a uh, help to destroy your child most. But when you communicate with God, the Lord, this is my child, as Hannah dedicated Samuel to God, dedicate your child to God. As Hannah dedicated his, dedicate yours to God. Lord, I am giving my daughter to you as a sacrifice. You say, meet her, arrest her as you arrested Saul, who later became Apostle Paul. Stop gossiping about them to your friends. Many of you, the people manipulating and even destroying your children, they are your best friends around you. They've seen the future of your child. They've seen some potential in your child. And they are harassing or they are fighting that potential. But because you do not have eyes, you, you entertain, you tolerate, you just allow them to do. You open the door to them. You allow them to do. Please, do not sell. If my daughter has been sleeping with men in my India, 13, 14, uh -uh. can human beings stop them? Go and approach a teenager. When a teenager starts when a teenager tests the banana, go and approach her. You see worse. I tell you, many of you that have not been there before, we don't fight them. Oh, we do not fight them because in my teenage, one day I'll post my picture. In my teenage, like 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 a uh, a tree that 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 lacks water, a tree that is lacking good sunshine. Yes, though. 
how I will insult my mom, how I will spit against her because I started dating in my teen. And she doesn't want me to do that. So you lie. You are lying. She said, you will never go. So she will pull my chat. I pull my chat. And, 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 and the people will be in, in between me and my mom. I said, come. She will also say, come. You know, the devil is so... The devil can sometimes harden the heart of your daughter. If you don't take care, your daughter is going to kill you. If you don't take care, your son will beat you and remove all your teeth. I tell you. Your son will beat you. The only thing you can do is to cast, ca release curses on him or her. And that is the dream of the devil concerning that child. That is why the devil, the devil wants that child to, uh, to, to do something painful to you. So that you will curse his life. And his life will be under curse instead of blessing. So your own son will beat you. And because of how he's going to beat you well, well, as a father, you, you open your mouth and say, you will never prosper. As Noah cares his, his grandchild. He was drunk. He was drunk. And his balloon was outside. And you know, children, hey, granny, what is this? You know, what is this? Come and see, oh, the ball is there. He started smiling. He started laughing. When the grandfather wake up, he just cares his father. And he see it. This is what the devil wants you to do to your children. This is the will of the devil for your children. Do not let any negative word come out of your mouth. It doesn't matter what your daughter will do to you. It doesn't matter what your, your, your son will do to you. Please hold your breath. Let God have his way in your children. Cry to God. If you have any conversation, call, you know, speak to God. Wake up at midnight. Speak to God. Mm. Mm. Ray says, sometimes my son wants to end it's a lie, but I have to be strong for him. Yes. Oh, one day I thought of committing suicide. You go through all this. You go through all this. When my father told me I don't need you in the house and I don't have anywhere to go. Because I don't have anywhere to go, I thought of committing suicide. Because I don't have anywhere to stay. I can't stay in the, in, 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 in the street. I can't be. I can't be in the street. So I thought of committing suicide. And my mom just came for me. So all the time, because of me, my mom and my dad, they would fight and fight and fight and fight. Hey! There wasn't peace. There was nothing like peace because of me. All my sisters were so calm. My mother's children, they are so calm. Only me. So I was moving from one uncle to the other. One grandmother to the other. When I go here, I cause problems. When they, when they speak against me, I move. So I've been moving from, you know, it is not easy that your daughter is going through what he's going through because of what he carries. I want you to understand your son is going through what he's going through. Many of you, your son have gone to prison three times. It is because of what God has restored in him. It irritates the devil. The devil doesn't want that glory to manifest. But today I came to secure the glory of every child in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever they carry to manifest, whether the devil like it or not, they will fulfill destiny. God's divine plan and purposes concerning their life will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. They will never be vagabond. Should, if, if anybody is secretly casting spells on your seed, if anybody is somewhere manipulating your son, let tender meet that person. If anybody is somewhere using the picture or the clothing of your son, the cloth of your daughter to manipulate them, let fire meet that person. Let tender meet that person. If they have fired any arrow for you or for your, your daughter, for your son, for your grandchildren, in the name of Jesus Christ, let that arrow backfire. 
Let that arrow backfire. Let that arrow backfire. Let that arrow backfire. Let that arrow backfire. Every evil arrow that has been released for you, released for your children, released for your home, let that arrows right now backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Wherever it is coming from, north, south, east, and west, north, south, east, and west, north, south, east, and west, we retain it. We retain it. We retain it. We retain it. Every arrest that the devil have cooked for your son to go to prison in the name of Jesus Christ. We intercept it. We cancel it. We cancel it. We cancel it. If you are here and the devil has appointed your son to die your daughter to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel the appointment. I terminate the appointment. I cancel the appointment. I cancel the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment with the messenger of death in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be terminated. Let it be canceled. Let it be cancelled. I surround your home right now. I surround your children wherever they are with the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. Wherever you see that, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God and the angels of God surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Many of you, that your children are jobless in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that yoke from their life. I break the yoke of joblessness. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, let that yoke be broken, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. The yoke of joblessness, weak handed, weak handed, sluggishness. Sluggishness, sluggishness, laziness. Let that yoke be broken from the life of your children, from your life and the life of your children, from your life and the life of your children. The yoke of sluggishness, the yoke of weak handed rejection, rejection, joblessness, joblessness, poverty, 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 financial difficulties, financial difficulties, financial difficulties. Let that yoke to them be broken from your life and the life of your children be broken from your life and the life of your children in the name of jesus christ every door that is shut i command that door to open every door that is shut on your life and shut on the life of your children let that door open now let that door open now. 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 Let every door that the devil has shut on your life and shut on the life of your children. Let that door open now. Let it open now. Let it open now. Let the jobless people in our midst receive a miracle job. Let the jobless people, as we enter a new month, those that are still finding it difficult to get a new job, receive it. Receive Receive one, receive one, receive one, receive one. I open the door. My God. Every door shut in front of you is opened now. Every door that is shut in the name of Jesus Christ, it is opened. I declare it opened. I declare it opened. I declare it opened. Every hand holding your blessing, I slit that hand and I release your blessing to you. Every hand holding the blessing of your children, I cut off that hand and I release your blessing. I release your children's blessing. I release their blessing. I release their blessing. I release their blessing. I release blessing. I release access. I release access 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 in the name of jesus christ whatever your document is receive it any document that is in the home office that is delaying i put fire on it I put speed. I put speed. Every document, visa, pa 
passport, passport, visa, visa, that is in the home office. I release it to you. I release it to you. I release it to you. I release it now. Receive it. Anybody that owns you, that does not want to pay, let that person call you and give you your money. Anybody that owns you, that does not want to pay you your money, whatever that person is, hey, I set fire in his garment. I set fire in his body. May he never have a good sleep. May she never have a good sleep until he or she return it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who never have to give you your document, the approval to start that job, the approval to start that job in the name of Jesus Christ. I put pressure, I release pressure, I release pressure, I release pressure, I release pressure in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. As your children are moving from here, Father, let the sick people among us. Let the weak people among us receive a touch now. Let every sickness that anybody brought to this altar, Father, let that sickness disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let headache disappear. Let stomach pain disappear. Let menstrual disorder disappear. Let abnormal pain, my God, disappear. Let stroke disappear. Let hernia disappear. Let pains in their joint, pains in their joint, pains in their marrow, pains in their backbone, pains in their lower spine disappear, 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 disappear. Let every problem that you are going through, every heaviness in one area of your body, problem with your kidney, problem with your lungs, problem with your heart, be restored, 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 be restored. in the name of Jesus Christ. Le kabiyande makapayadosa. Lento lo po masunda yama zo prokoto liantar mama kapan zuri makata yama liantar mama kabiyande I declare healing to your body. 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 Let every headache disappear. Let stomach pain, stomach ache, stomach ache, stomach ache disappear. Let cancer, hey, that is refusing. That is resisting treatment. Let that cancer hear the word of God. Disappear. Surrender and live. Let every disease that has assaulted itself in your life. Stroke. Disappear. Cancer. Disappear. Diabetes. Disappear. Oh my God. Hynia. Menstrual disorder. Menstrual problem. Sciaticus. Sciaticus. TB complications, be restored to normal, be restored to normal, dementias, 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 leka biade makapa yadosa, len tolopo masun diamond, zo brokotol yantarma makapam, zuri makataiama, le antarma makabiade, makapa yadosa, len tolopo masun diamond. I release fire into your body now. The healing fire. The healing fire, let it possess you now. The healing fire, 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 possess you now, possess you now, possess you now. Wherever you are, wherever your son is, wherever your mother is, wherever your auntie is, wherever your brother is, that is sick. Let the mighty hand, let that person receive a touch right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody sick in your home right now. I release, I release, I release the healing touch, 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 the healing touch. Receive it. My God. Le kabiyande makapa yadosa. Len tonopo masun dayama. So prokoto liantarma makapa. Zuri makata yama liantarma. Makabiyande makapa yadosa. Len Yes, let every satanic deposit in you. Let it come out now. 
every satanic deposit in you come out now anything deposited in you any python deposited in your belly through having sexual intercourse in dream out any python deposited in your belly any serpent snake deposited in your belly through having sexual intercourse in dream my god let it come out let it come out i command it out i command it out i command it out i command it out every food that you've eaten in dream that is making you weak that is making you weak that is reviving and resurrecting that disease that is gone let it come out i command it i command it i command it i command it let whatever that has been released in you hmm. whatever that is deposited in you as i stretch forth my hand right now let it come out out i command it I command it. I command it. I command it. I command it. Every satanic implant, every demonic implant, whatever the devil has implanted in you, right now, I uproot it. I uproot it. I command it out. Hey, every evil spot, every initiating, initiation, initiation, wherever they've initiated you, my God. My God, I bring you out of that evil kingdom. I command your soul to come out from every dark kingdom. Dark kingdom, kingdom of darkness. Kingdom of darkness. Kingdom of darkness. Marine kingdom. Marine kingdom. Wherever they've tied your soul, I command your soul right now. Out, 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 out. Wherever they've tied your soul, my God, my god right now i lose your soul i break every chains from your hands chains from your legs chains from your life chains from your hands chains from your legs chains from your hands chains from your legs i break every chains i break every chains i break every chains chains of infirmity chains of infirmity chains of attacks continuous attacks continuous attacks continuous attacks on your body on your body that liability that is moving from one area to the other one place to the other one place to the other one place to the other right now come out come out come out come out come out my god my god i don't know how to describe this but one of you you, you start feeling i don't know how they call the english like uh, like when you touch your hands, sometimes when you are there, the Ghanaians help you because in my country, we, we, we used to say, say, Anasia how do you call that in English? Like your hand, you feel like it's no longer flexible. You can't move your hand, you can't do it. One of you, one of you, as I'm praying, I just saw you doing your hand like this. Like when, the, like when the blood refused to flow well in your hands or in your legs, how you feel it? That sensation. One of you, as I'm praying for you now, this is what I saw. This is what I saw. Your hand. Your hand. Any symptoms of stroke. Let that symptoms of stroke be arrested. Let it be arrested. Let it be arrested. Let it be arrested. Any food that you've eaten in dream that is manifesting in that way. Let that food be neutralized in your system right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be neutralized in your system. Neutralized in your system in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be neutralized. Let it be neutralized. Let it be neutralized. Arthritis. Okay, God bless you. Rahel, it's you. Be lose now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that thing leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whatever is holding that hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose your hand. I lose you. 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 Jesus, share the broadcast for me. If you have not joined and if not share, click on the share button for me. Our page is being restricted. Our page is being restricted. It goes numbed. God bless you. Yes, I release you right now. 
Nabness, Nabness. God bless you. God bless you. And we say, Anansi Achemin, sir. The spider have grabbed my hands. Uh, you know, when the spider grab your hand, you can't move it. Yes. <laughs> yes, I speak restoration. I speak restoration. Now, I release you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be loose. Be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. I break every chain and every yoke of infirmity. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet right now. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God. As your children are moving from here. I pray Lord. You will go with them. I pray, Lord, you restore them. I pray, Lord, you visit them. Visit them in their rooms. Visit them in their offices. Visit them, my God, wherever they are. Visit them. Visit their children with divine restoration. Visit their marriages, their broken marriages. Visit their broken homes. Visit their broken blessings. Father, release restoration in the month of August. Father, give a testimony. Give your children testimony that will silence their enemies. Give them a testimony that will silence their enemies. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen. God bless you. God willing, tomorrow we will come. Tomorrow we will come for day two. It is three days that we are praying for their children. We will finish on the 1st of August. We will finish on the 1st of August. If you can't do 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. fasting, please do 6 a.m. to 12. If you are a mother and you are breastfeeding and you want to take part of this, you do 6 a.m. to 12. You do 6 to 12. Every mother do. Every mother on the third day, covenant with God with a sacrifice, a talking from your own heart. Don't let somebody force you to say this amount from your own heart. Covenant with God on behalf of your children. On behalf of your children. On the third day, that is the first of August. First of August, every mother here, sow a seed on the life of your children. Sow a seed. If you don't want to sow on this altar, you can go to any pastor that will call you and pray for you. You still have the altar. Sister Joseph, I'll call you, Josephine. I'll call you and I'll pray for you. I'll call you. I know it will go. It will go. You know, diseases or attacks, it comes once, but it can go once. Gradually, gradually, it will go. Yes, on the 1st of August, 1st of August, every mother sow a seed on the life of your children. Sow a covenant seed. If you don't want to sow it to this ministry, sow it to the life of a man of God that will call you to pray and seal it. Let Make sure you hear the voice that they are praying for you. Don't let, that, don't let them say, I will pray for you. They will take it. They will not seal it. If you don't want to sow here, it is not by force to sow in this ministry. But I just, I want you to do it. That is why I am emphasizing on it. Do it on a genuine altar. A genuine altar so that that altar will stand for your children as abraham erected uh, an altar that on the way that jacob was running away he went and slept that he didn't know his father made an altar and sacrificed on that altar there he just slept and that altar began to speak for him heaven opened and he saw angels coming up and down up and down up and down a genuine altar when you sacrifice on an altar when you covenant on a genuine altar even in your absence that altar will speak for your children that altar will speak for your children when i prayed concerning the series of revelation god gave me on children that is the direction that game that came that is why I, I have been repeating it for the past three days every mother do it and god almighty will bless you if you are in uk you are in us and you have secondhand clothing that you want to give to our foundation please just gather it arrange it whatever you are in uk those door-to-door -door personnel he will come when it is ready you tell me 
I'll give you the contact of the door-to-door -door personnel. He will come wherever you are. Wherever you are in UK, he will come. He will come for it. He will come for it. I think when you make uh, this load, it is uh, 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Please do not throw your second-hand clothing away. Don't throw it away. People need it in the village. Your second-hand shoes, bags, full stuff, kettles, irons, anything that you do not like, do not throw it away. People need it and they are going to bless you. If you want to partner with this ministry, you just send me a message. If you want to give an offering, you want to sow a seed, I will, after I finish, I'll post the details all our video you've been you've seen the, the the details on it if you are in kenya you are in tanzania you are in rwanda you are in uganda you can use the impesa number when you donate on the impesa it will go to our foundation's account it will go to our foundation's account yes when we gather and we get some few amount we used to buy rice and some stuffs for the fatherless and the widows as god ushered Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 24 that when we eat we should remember the fatherless when we eat we should remember the widows we should remember with the strangers this is a command to every Christian if you don't have money and you have second hand clothing somebody will take it if you have shoes for your children shoes for your husband anything that you do not like wherever you are do not throw it away just gather it we will find a personnel that will, that will bring it to us in Ghana. God bless you. If you are in Namibia and you want to give an offering or you want to bless this altar or, call, or partner with this ministry, please, you can take our Namibian account. We will receive it. It will go to our foundation uh, account. If you are in South Africa, we can give you the, the details. If you want Western Union monogram, you can use word remit, you can use send wave, you can use tap tap send. Yes, God bless you. Whatever God lays on your heart to support us with data, to buy credit for us, you know, we will just take it. God bless you. See, I would like to sing to your ministry. Okay. You chat me, you chat me. My number is on the page and it's what plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. Plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. I'll post after uh, I finish. I'll post all the details. I want to sleep. Well, yesterday I went and drank cappuccino, and I couldn't sleep. You see my eyes? I couldn't sleep. You know I don't know. Coffee is not good for my body. I couldn't sleep the whole day. I couldn't sleep, so I'm going to try if I can sleep. Lift up your hand as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me, God. Amen. God bless you. They are frustrated and afraid. I don't know what they want. But when they are tired, they will release it. When they are tired, they will release it. God bless you. Please, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do well to subscribe. It is Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. When they terminate our Facebook, you go to YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and you click on the bell. The bell so that when we are live, you get notification. When you subscribe, click on the bell. Choose all notifications so that any time we go live there, when well, you don't see us here, because they can do anything. They can do. They don't like the truth. The world hates the truth. So when you try to speak the truth, you stand as enemy to the world. You stand as enemy to the world. They can do whatever they can do. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when you don't get us on Facebook, you meet us on YouTube. God bless you. Love you all. Shalom.